Welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Top rated Houston dive boat accident attorneys, helping people nationwide rebuild their lives after dive boat accident. Dive boats and diving tours are popular recreational activities, but with profit comes responsibility. Companies are legally and ethically obligated to ensure their boats equipment and practices are as safe as possible when a dive boat is operated maintained or equipped negligently it puts their passengers and costs are potentially fatal risk if you or your loved one was seriously injured in a dive boat accident because of another negligence behavior you have the right to seek compensation for your loss after a catastrophic boat accident. Maritime companies often hide behind the law to limit their liability, valuing their profits over the lives of their passengers, crew, or grieving families. With the right attorneys on your side, you can fight against these companies and hold them accountable. The deaf boat accident lawyers at Arnold and Itkin are dedicated to helping injured people secure the compensation they need. We have helped clients recover billions of dollars in compensation for their injuries. If you lost your loved one, we can help you file a wrongful death claim to ensure that the parties responsible are held liable. Dive boat accident in 2019, Santa Cruz dive boat fire kills 34 people on September 2, 2019, a dive boat caught fire off the coast of Santa Cruz Island, west of Los Angeles. The Conception dive boat sailed out from Santa Barbara on Saturday with 39 people on board for a diving excursion. Early in the morning of September 2nd, the dive boat caught fire. Within an hour, the diving vessel was burned down to the waterline. It then sank into 64 feet of water as crews tried to extinguish the fire. Out of the 39 that were aboard the dive boat, only 5 survived. The remaining 34 people aboard were below deck sleeping. The crew was unable to get them to the flames and eventually had to abandon the ship to escape the fire. Less than a week later, the owners of the vessel, through Alcaric Inns, filed a suit to limit the liability for the incident for the value of the vessel. They reported value of the vessel, zero dollars. Truth Alcaric essentially wants the court to acknowledge that they shouldn't have to pay a single cent for the death of 34 people aboard the vessel, in the midst of burying the loved ones the families left behind by the conception tragedy are now forced to bring their claims forward with a six month or lose their chance forever. The law that allowed through Alcaric to do this is infamous in the maritime industry. It is called the Limitation of Liability Act of 1851. How the Limitation of Liability Act can affect your case? Maritime law states that the owner of a vessel may be subject to liability for any loss or damages that occur during the voyage. The Limitation of Liability Act of 1851 was written to allow vessel owners to limit the liability to the value of the ship. In a time where ship owners took on tremendous risk in order to conduct trade or deliver goods, the law made sense ship owners had no control over what happened on their vessel at sea. Crews had to deal with the bad weather pirates, attacks by foreign powers, disease, and other catastrophic conditions. If a ship lost precious cargo while traveling between ports, the Limitation of Liability Act prevented merchant uh, from driving ships owners into financial room. Today, corporate vessel owner often rest upon the Limitation of Liability Act of 1851 to avoid paying damages for death they could have prevented.
companies hide behind this law to prevent being held accountable for the negligence at sea. As a result, survivors and grieving families do not receive the full compensation they deserve after a tragic accident. If you or your loved ones were injured in a death boat accident, you need an attorney uh, who knows how to beat the limitation of liability defense and who has a history of arguing against applying this law in fatal accident cases. Arnold and Itkin has helped clients win against the limitation liability defense. Our firm has beaten the Limitation of Liability Act defense more than once. In 2010, BP attempted to avoid liability by using the outdated 1851 law after the unsafe practices lead to the Deepwater Horizon explosion. Our team of attorneys represented one uh, third of the injured crew and we helped them hold BP accountable for their negligence behavior. As a result, we helped survivors get the compensation they need to secure their future. BP was not only a maritime corporation who tried to hide behind the limitation of liability. In the El Faro cases, our law firm shed light on the truth of that case and we challenged the limited liability defense. We prevailed and we were able to get our clients far more compensation than what they were originally offered. We helped them secure the compensation they need to pay for their medical care, income, and long-term needs. If you are injured in a time for the company may try to use the Limitation of Liability Act for the defense. Our team of experienced and aggressive death accident attorneys have has helped clients win cases against uh, some of the largest corporations in the world who try to limit their liabilities for accident caused due to their negligence. What causes a death boat fire? Insurance companies have discovered that fire ranked a number fifth among the common causes of loss between 2008 to 2012. In most cases, boat fires originate in an engine compartment where fuel and an ignition sources come together. It is vital for boat operators to keep electrical and fuel system in a good condition to prevent fires. Of boat sources, 26% if a boat is stationed in a marina or storage facility and something else catches on fire, it is common for surrounding boats to also catch on fire. In 70% of off-boat fire cases, it is something else on a marina that catches on fire. Engine electrical, 20%, a wiring harness and stardust offer other causes of fires on boats, especially on older boats. Operators must ensure the engine electrical system is safe and up to date. Other DC electrical 50%, other DC electrical issues can also cause fire, cause us a loose battery connection, capped battery cables, and edge battery switches. AC electrical 12%, most AC electrical fires start somewhere in a marina pedestal and the shore power inlet on a pod. Inspecting this connection is vital to reducing the risk of a boat fires, and an other engine is 9%. An overheated engine or a blockage of a water intake uh, can cause a boat fire, ensuring that the engine is in excellent condition is important before bringing diving passengers aboard batteries is the next. 8% with older dive boats, voltage regulator can cause fire because of their failure rate. Dive boats that are 10 years and older should replace the regulator to reduce the risk of a fire. And then the tourneys for commercial diving accidents. Commercial diving is an occupational that uh, involves underwater construction, scientific research, and more. For the Occupational Health and Safety Administration, commercial divers are subject to a multi multitude of accidents. Offshore diving branches of professional diving is used by the oil and gas industry in exploration and production sector. Divers uh, receive special training and are used mainly in the Gulf of Mexico. I think that's all guys the information that I can say to you. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you need information related to my topics, you are in the right channel because in this channel we talk about it a lot. And then if you guys want us to talk about or discuss about the information that you need about my team topic, you can just drop your comment below in the comment section guys and later when we have a chance we will talk about it. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you like the video that I have said to you guys. Don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Bye bye guys. See you in another video.